Say hi, Barkley. Oh, you're a bum. Hey, babes. It's Friday, and yes, you're getting me just out of the shower again. Um, but I want to do this quick before I leave and go downstairs to the air conditioner down there because it's going to get hot in here, and I'm not going to stay cooped up in my room all day. No, we don't have central air. Which is actually good for me because I'm the one who can't stand heat and I use the air more than everybody else. So, this way I can have things my way if I want them that way. I want it that way. Okay, so I'm supposed to give you a tour of my bed. So, let's get going. Um, alright. These are my pajamas that I just took off. I'm going to go toss them somewhere. You're going to see more in my room. Okay. Alright, so this is my bed, and no, I never make my bed because I honestly don't see the point. My mom gets mad at me, but she can't anymore because I'm 23. <laughs> and, uh, it's just, you're just going to mess it up later, you know? So, why? Um, Alright, so I have sheets, blanket, and a quilt. And that keeps me really comfy. Another reason why I like air conditioning because I like to get all bundled up in the covers because it's comfier that way. Um, I have stuff hanging off my bed and I don't really remember why. That Well, that was a lay from Hawaii that Grandma brought back for me. And the black thing I was using... I was supposed to use that every morning <laughs> to do stretches so I kept it wrapped around the bed but uh, I completely forgot about it so I still don't do it. Um, over here I have the... Uh, whatchamacallit? The garter that I caught at Catherine's wedding and the monkey down there that's that's Dodger that's my doggy he has a little pillow and I know that sounds really sad but the little pillow was actually my great grandmother's and I inherited it I guess when she passed away which was ages ago um, I think I was on I don't even know how old I was but I was very very young and I've had him for years and years and years too because um, that was like, it was probably the first carnival or whatever that we went to and my dad won them for me and I've had them for forever and his head's like about to fall off but it's okay. Um, this, I, and you know, I have all this crap lined up on my bed. Mostly pillows. But this, this is my badass Build-A-Bear. He's so badass. He's a lion and he's got a leather jacket on and he's got a Temple Owl shirt on. And where's the thing? He roars. He's so badass. Look at that. It's like a biker build a bear. Okay. And then <laughs> this is gonna yeah. See, you remember my cow obsession and how my grandma bought in bought into it a lot and she would just buy me random stuff. This was one of those things. And I still have it on my bed, and it was really funny because when I had um, my friend Bob over, she was like, what the hell is this? Because <laughs> it, it's kind of goofy looking, but it's still there. And that's the heart pillow. It actually has a massager in it that I haven't used yet. This was made for me by a friend from high school. It's obviously my initial in cow print. These pillows were given to me, again by Catherine, um, for, I believe it was a Christmas. Uh, I forget what year, but they're leopard print. Very nice. These, I actually, I think these are the ones that I bought at like Six Flags or something. They had a lot of animal print stuff, so I got the regular tiger print, the leopard print, and the white tiger print. And I can't believe I'm so <laughs> Oh wait, no, this, didn't I wear this in my, my ridiculous video? Yeah, this is the uh, cow print sort of cowboy hat. And um, that's my bed. I also have back here. He's kind of hidden because my badass Build-A-Bear. But, or it's kind of hidden. But I have a dream catcher. Which, um, I think is helping because I don't have nightmares, but I still have really cracked out dreams. And, uh, so that's my bed. It's comfy and I like it and I think I have way too many pillows on it. Oh, and I also keep under this pillow. These, these are, and um, I'm not all that religious or, like, superstitious. I guess it seems kind of superstitious that these are under my pillow. But these are rosaries. They're, like, a really 
good, pretty set of rosaries that um, my grandmom got me for, I think it was communion or confirmation, one of those. That's under my bed. There's a lot of stuff under my bed. I don't know if you want that to be part of the tour, but um, my laptop case, I have those giant containers of like everything. I don't even know what exactly is in them. I know some of the stuff that's in them. Um, my sketch pads are right there with my Supernatural magazines. I haven't drawn anything in a very long time. i got to do that. And then other purses, overnight bag, more slippers, more sneakers, more shoes. Which isn't that many because I know girls usually have a lot more. I don't have that many shoes. That's like the extent. Except for the heels in my closet. And there's Dodger again. And just for fun, this is a porcelain doll that my grandmom got me that I think I think she got it for me because it had my name and when I turned 21 one of my friends from high school got me this like silly hat and I decided to put it on the porcelain doll because I thought it was funny because you know it's all like pretty Victorian doll and then you know where's the bar so that's my bed and under my bed hope you enjoyed the tour uh, I'm going to end it now, and that's pretty much all there is for me, so I will see you on Tuesday. Later, babes!